Wow, it's like 60 degrees already out here. 9 a.m. It's gorgeous. It's going to be gorgeous, and it is gorgeous. And all my boys are here, ready for breakfast. Stripe's already walking about. He did come back out with me, but he's gone to do his walkabout. Hi, Tux. Good boy. So that's almost exclusively my perennial border starting to grow. There's my panther buddy. Good morning. How you doing? Oh, you doing good? <laughs> that was Stripe. He took off like he was the pole car at the uh, Coca-Cola 600. Well, Gypsy was up yesterday afternoon, right after dawn, finished with the car. Um, I did not see Spot again. That's at least three days in a row I haven't seen Spot. And trust me, I'm looking on the security cameras and looking out the front door. And doesn't mean he wasn't here. Could have gone around back and I didn't see him. But, um, yeah, a 30-minute eating on the front porch didn't happen. Hi, Stripe. You see him by the gnome home. Good morning. Hi, Missy. Hi. Yeah, how are ya? You gotta be loving having Johnny home. I haven't seen you as much, but that's totally okay. You've got your person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. You know me, I don't like change. Um, and I like small town and a lot of other things. But the Garden Hut is still called the Garden Hut, but it got sold to Logan's Trading Company. Logan's, they had um, down at the old uh, Sea Fork Station in Raleigh, they had a garden center. And I guess they moved out of there. I, I don't remember. I don't know the whole story. Nelsa, who has owned this for the last 15 years, she's still, um, she's still part-time. I think that's still her white pickup truck down on the end. But I had heard that they had closed and reopened, and they have put up this fence uh, along the interior, re expanded the greenhouse, gotten rid of the covering over here and put up this fence all around the place i don't know that nelsa had a ton of stuff stolen but i would think that's part of the thing anyway um you know i'll stop in and take pictures they're not open right now um maybe they're open at one i don't know but anyway it's supposed to be bigger and better things coming but right now it doesn't look bigger and better all the huge japanese maples maybe they just moved them to the back and haven't moved them back up to the front i don't know i'm i'm i like the jungle that was the front of the building with just tons of stuff to choose from so i guess that sounds pretty negative huh i really don't mean it uh, i mean i just it's different and we'll see how they do i guess we'll leave it there I'm sure they'll have great stuff still, but I loved it the way it was. I saw no need for change. I just can't leave it on a positive note. I'm sorry. Just can't. So instead of seeing all the pretty flowers, now I got to see this fence. Yep. I, I think that sums it up pretty well. I don't like it. And I don't dislike it, I swear, because it's different. I don't want to see the fence. I want to see the flowers. Nelsa has some really pretty stuff up there at the road. I'm going to look at treated lumber. Yeah. I said, let's start over here at the Club Works parking lot today and just walk to the lake. So we go down this interesting bridge over here. It does mean we have to cross Highway 55, but there's a real dedicated flashing light pedestrian crosswalk there. So it should be fine. But there's a hill now. There's a hill? <laughs> What do you mean there's a hill? Well, you'll notice it. I will? Aww. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's plenty good coming back. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, you see that, how low that is? Yeah. Yeah, well, this is the hill you're going up. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs>
Yeah, it was beautiful sunny this morning and now it's clouded up. I mean, A did say this morning it was going to be partly cloudy. And I guess Don had heard the weather forecast called for a lot of clouds, but I don't know. I just assumed if I woke up and it was sunny, it was going to stay sunny. <laughs> Silly girl. I pointed out a white-eyed vireo to Don. He's like, oh, mm, uh, mm, uh huh. <laughs> the things you know the names of that you wouldn't know the names of if it wasn't for me. <laughs> oh, there he is again. See, he's a cute little fellow up there on that tree. He's a very small bird. Oh, I see. But he's that's a him. Tiny little guy. Yep. Wow, I hear insects. Yeah. Skeeters are right behind them. Oh. Then ticks. But I love North Carolina. Mosquitoes and all. We got to cross okay. Somebody was crossing from the other direction, from this side also. Uh, what, 15 cars each way were yeah, stopped? Quite a few. Quite a few by the time we were crossing. One person left early. But, you know. They were special. Well, the sun really still hasn't come back out, but we are plenty warm out here. Plenty warm. Wishing we had on short sleeves instead of long sleeves. And we've had all this water the last few days. Yeah, we're turning around here. Otherwise, it'll be a four mile walk today. Yeah, we got plenty of rain this week. Now, well, there's a Y over here. Of course, we aren't over here today. We're in the other parking lot. Don found a bag. A bag means pick up the trash. I'll get this can. So we're almost, know, we're you, almost to the top of it. You noticing this hill now? Yeah, I kind of noticed it now. Lots of people on the trail enjoying the pretty weather today. And she told me, she said, oh, it's not a bad hill. But we have a hill on the other trail too. Well, basically like that other hill. Yeah. We noticed that one every time. Yeah. So we had a driver, sex and vehicle shall remain nameless, try to go around the three cars in front of them. It stopped at the crosswalk. At the, at the fancy so crosswalk. It has, a, it has a wide shoulder, plenty big enough. And basically yep. it's not a turn lane yet, but the will be turning into a turn lane. Yeah. It's, it's on the other side of the crosswalk. Right, yeah, it had a solid line, not, thou shalt not cross. But anyway, I suspect it was a combination of not paying attention and, oh, well, I'll have to wait for that slow down traffic. Here's me, oh, nice wide open lane, I'm gonna I'm go. Gonna zoom up the side of these people. Yeah. So they stopped out here because- They did stop though, they did, they but did. I didn't hustle very fast, not to be obstinate, because, but because I got on my oh, 10 pound, I, hustle I, I got on my 10 pound weight vest. And we've walked three miles for close to 90 minutes now. And um, I was so busy making sure they weren't gonna hit me that I didn't go very fast. <laughs> well, Don says every year since he moved in, this was pretty up here and it never fails to please. Yep. Well, there's Morris and Stripe in the chair, the wicker chair, Marty in the tall chair. Oh, I wasn't trying to get Stripe to come over. Tucks on his bench. I stopped to sit with him for a bit. Um, Gypsy is on the bridge working his way up to the porch. This car thankfully didn't scare him too bad. Very cute how Morris is in the chair right now. Over the arm. I'm going to work on this for a bit. Mostly some of the front pieces here but then finish up this piece. This piece doesn't go as high and there's a little garden thing on top. Um... So yeah, um, I'm going to work on that. I did order some more of these green masonry bricks and the sand green bricks I need for this corner and over here. So um, I looked out and one of the pick a brick wall bags I got coming and going from UNCC, the big Ziploc bag. Well, it was a box when I left Lego and then I dumped it in a Ziploc bag. It had one by two medium nougat that I needed to finish off this top. So, phew, and I need some more for in here, too, and I didn't order those, so it's really good I found them. Um, 
yeah this is topped off now I just got to put here and here when it comes and I started converting this to green because I have those masonry bricks coming and it's 4 30 and I'm gonna take a break for a bit or maybe be done for the day but probably a break for a bit and um yeah, there's a sign that goes over here, and then of course I thought I was going to stick over here today, but then I was able to do more over here than I'd anticipated, so. Don and I are out here taking a walk, just enjoying the weather a little bit, and um, checking out how things are doing in the yard. I noted that um, this vine we planted to try to help a little bit with erosion, um, might be allium, I don't know, anyway, it's happy it's doing stuff i told him we should come and sit on jb's bench we hadn't been down here well mostly because it's been winter not because you know and we are our, our yard work it's just because it's been winter yeah. we have a couple weeks a year we can sit outside before the insects come and it's not too hot right not too cold <laughs> it's, it's sadly true he was this tux he was running hi yeah. buddy yeah. Hi, are you coming? You coming to see us? He goes, I saw you go around the corner. He's on the other side of the butterfly bush. We need to lop it off, by the way. I need you to get the loppers. Yeah, it sounds like work. You told me we were going to come out here and walk. You didn't say anything about work. Right, but it's only like four or five branches. So if, if you wanted... Four or five? That's... Yeah, we cut it off at the big stalk. Tuxy! Hey, buddy! We have to be careful, though, because otherwise we'll have the whole crew down here in the front yard. I've probably already opened my mouth too much. Hi! It was very cute, though. He came around the corner of the house by the bluebird box, and he was trotting. <laughs> it was fast. Hi! Come here! Come here! Racket. It really is my fault, but here comes Stripe, and Tux has seen him. I don't know that Tux, Stripe has seen Tux, and... Yeah, they're fixing to see each other. Though. They're fixing to see each other, and it's not going to... Stripe, no! It's not going to be a good thing. <laughs> you oh, think it's funny? I do. Boys will oh, be Tux, boys. Oh, Tux turned around, and he... He kind of did that oh, posturing thing. Stripe might have seen yeah, Stripe's like, I don't care about you. Oh. <laughs> Mexican <thing>. Stripe! <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> no. Johnny's home, you know what that means. We get ice cream!